Welcome to this episode of One Drink Three Bars. This weekend we had the chance to visit the Old Forge Distillery in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I'll be making three recipes with their peach habanero rock and rye. If you want to skip directly to the recipes, use the chapters on this video. At the distillery, we not only received some products to take home, but we were treated to a couple of their great cocktails and a tour. It was a great experience and I highly recommend a visit. They have several tasting options, flavored moonshine, premium whiskeys, and cream liqueurs. There's also a great cocktail bar that even has a patio. Old Forge has many products that work great in cocktails. We'll be covering their cocktail bar in a future episode, but today I'll be making some of my own drinks at home with the Peach Habanero Rock and Rye. It's made from local products from Pigeon Forge. Grain from the Old Mill next door and rock candy from the Old Mill Candy Kitchen. It's 43% alcohol and comes in many other flavors, including ginger lemongrass, grapefruit thyme, orange rosemary, and honey fennel. You could easily enjoy sipping this over ice with a couple Old Forge Cola cherries like I am right now, but of course on this channel, we have to take it a step further. First, we'll go with something obvious but delicious, a whiskey sour. Then we'll create a riff on one of my favorite tiki cocktails, the Jungle Bird. And finally, we'll make a refreshing rock and rye riff on a Paloma. If you don't want a spicy cocktail, I believe a bourbon like this one would work equally well in any of these cocktails. In case you're curious about this one, I'll be featuring it in an upcoming video. Our first drink today is going to be the Peach Habanero Whiskey Sour. Now with a whiskey sour, you can either serve it over the rocks or serve it in a coupe with no ice. That's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to use an egg white to give it a nice foamy and silky texture. And typically a whiskey sour is a 2 one one ratio of spirit, sour, and sweet. This has a good sweetness already due to the rock candy syrup, so I'm going to do 2, 1, and 0.5 of the simple syrup. So this is one ounce of the lemon juice and one half an ounce of simple syrup. Last but certainly not least, two ounces of the rock and rye. As I do with all egg white cocktails, I'm going to dry shake it first. Now I'm going to shake it with a couple of these one inch cubes. It's just to chill it and dilute it a little bit. And since I've got these orange bitters, I'm gonna throw in a couple dashes of those. I'm gonna double strain this into my chilled coop. For garnish on this one, I'm gonna go with one of the cola cherries. And these are Old Forge's answer to Luxardo cherries. And I would say they're at least as good. They're a different type of cherry. They're bigger and they're a little less rich, I guess you could say. And they have the moonshine with them, of course. Well, these aren't habaneros. They will let the drinker know that this is going to be a spicy drink. So there's our peach habanero whiskey sour. All right, you may have heard of the Jungle Bird. That's a tiki drink that has Campari in it, kind of an unusual ingredient for tiki drinks. Well, the rock and rye would be too, so I'm going to sub it for the rum and we're gonna call it the Jungle Pigeon. So I'm gonna start out with an ounce and a half of the peach habanero rock and rye, three quarters an ounce of Campari, an ounce and a half of pineapple juice, half an ounce of lime juice, and half an ounce of Demerara simple syrup. All right, and I'm gonna give this one a quick shake with pebble ice. All 
Then I'm gonna dump um, ice and all into this nice old forge, old fashioned glass. It's a nice big one, so I thought it would work well for this. I'll garnish this one with a cherry and a lime wedge. There's the jungle pigeon. All right, for our third drink, I'm going to do a riff on a Paloma and call it a Ryloma. I'm going to rim my glass with a mixture of this Hawaiian black lava sea salt and this scotch bonnet sea salt. Okay, for this one, we're going to do two ounces of the rock and rye. Half an ounce of agave nectar. Three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Just like the last one, we're going to quickly shake this with some pebble ice. I'm going to pour everything into our crooked glass. And I'm going to top it off with this ruby red squirt. It's a grapefruit soda that is normally like this. It's just kind of a plain white soda, but this has a berry flavor and I really like the color. So. Either one would work, but I'm going to use this one today. I don't need to get too fancy with the garnish on this one. I'm just going to give it a lime wheel. So there's our third drink, the Ryloma. Let's taste each of these. Now I tasted this by itself. It's really good. It's definitely got a kick to it. So I'm expecting that to come through in all three of these. Um, but I've never tried any of these before, so hopefully they're good. I'm going to start out tasting the Peach Habanero Whiskey Sour. Okay, that tastes awesome. The, the egg white kind of smooths out kind of that rye bite and the habanero bite. And it's just got like a little, a little bit of a spice to it. And I think it was a very good call to dial down the simple syrup. It's actually about perfect. It's just like a really good lemonade with a little kick to it. This one is the jungle pigeon. I was a little worried that the Campari might kind of steamroll everything else, but this stuff, it's high proof, it's spicy. I think it'll be good. And if it's not, I could always dial it down to Aperol next time. Damn, I might like that more than the rum jungle bird. I don't know. These so far, two out of three are really good. So number three, our kind of Paloma riff where we sub the tequila with this. Let's go for it. That's good too. I knew the grapefruit of the squirt would go well and I think this has more of like a berry aspect to it than I thought. I thought it was mostly just like a red dye, but it tastes pretty good in the drink. I would make any of these again. Let me know which one of these you might like. And don't worry if you aren't into spicy drinks, Old Forge also has a ton of flavored moonshine that you might enjoy. I highly recommend stopping by and trying some of them. By the way, I'd like to thank the Old Forge Distillery for providing the products used in these delicious cocktails. If you haven't already subscribed or hit that bell, please consider doing so. And we'll see you next time. Cheers!